Hey, this is Math 2, Unit 3, Worksheet Number 2, talking about types of triangle congruence. Um, now, I wasn't in class today to hear exactly all you were talking about to see how would you prove these, because it wants to know which posture that you'd use to prove that they are congruent. And the different ones you had as options today might be things like a side, side, side. We have three sides all the same. You could have a side angle side. That one comes up often, okay? Um, and you could have an angle angle side that can work as well you might have talked about today about the hypotenuse leg theorem okay so those are three things that you might that might have come up today uh, in terms of deciding if a triangle is going to be congruent or not some some options there um, I do not know if you talked about what's called the reflexive property not sure reflexive property is i'll show you in a second here but it's going to be ones where they share the same uh same line here reflexive property like that so they have the same line uh, on both sides and i don't know if you talked today about vertical angles vertical angles if you recall are the ones where they they line up like this at the points the tips come together like that and they're going to be equal there so I don't know if these were part of what you talked about or what exactly, so I'll answer some questions on the first page before going to the second, just to show you what I would think would be the correct answer. So I know you have an option of no, right, not enough information, but I'm gonna assume that these things are all things you know, and if I'm mistaken there, then you might have a little, you might say yes, but you could say why, and if you know those things, your teacher will probably be okay with that. So for this first one, for example, I have a side and a side, I have an angle and an angle. So I can look and I have a side and angle. So I'm looking at this one or that one. Because of this line right here being reflexive, using the reflexive property there, that would allow me to then say it's a side angle side and the triangles are gonna be congruent. But I have to say that it's reflexive before I can get to side angle side. For number five over here, I already have a side and a side. What I don't have is, is an angle. Um, now, if I use this one here, I could say that this is an angle, and that's true. The problem with that is that we look back up here, I don't ever have a side-side a angle or an angle side-side. It doesn't work that way unless I have a 90 degree, in which case I would have I'd use the hypotenuse leg thing. So in this case, I don't have enough information to say whether or not these things are going to be congruent shapes, I don't think because we can't use the, the, the ASS, that's not gonna work. Your teacher said, no, don't do that one, can't write that down. So that's not gonna work there, or even SSA is not one either. So because it's not a right angle, I probably gonna say there's not enough information on this one to be able to say that, just from what I'm seeing. I may be missing something, so if your teacher says something different, that's cool, go with them. Uh, number 11. This takes the number five question and it kind of extends it down because now we have a side, a side, and we do have an angle, just like the last one, but because I have a 90 degree angle, I would call this the hypotenuse leg postulate, postulate, which means it is an angle side side or side side angle, but that 90 degrees tells me it's gonna work. So I believe that's what you wanna do there. Here I have a side, angle, angle, side, angle, angle, so we could say side, angle, angle is what I have going on there. That could work as well. Um, I think that's what you wanna do there. Again, I'm not a great expert at these ones here, so hopefully you can kinda of get some feedback from your teachers what they wanted to do. Let's look at the back side. Back side a little more straightforward. So we have some triangles. So name two triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle. So we're looking for something like angle, side, angle. So I got a two, Hash one, one, two, one, one. Here I have side, angle, angle. That's not gonna work. So my two that are angle, side, angle are these two here. So you're just looking for the ones that match. That's the idea for 17, 18, and 19. Number 20 is of can you prove it? And you have to justify your answer. So you're gonna write something down, whether you can prove that's true. From what you're given, you have again, angle, side, side, which we've talked about already as not being one of the options that you can do, side, side, angle. So the question is, can you prove that that's congruent with the information that's there? That you'd have to decide yes or no and justify your answer. Moving down to the last one, the next last one, sorry. We have TJM, 
It's going to go into PHS. So here's T, T, which matches the P. And I have J, J, which matches the H, H. And then I have M, M, which matches the S, S. So let's take a look what we have now. So J, M is this one, peach to blue, right there. And that one's going to line up with this peach to blue, which is H, S, right there, keeping my letters in the right order. For angle P, measurement of angle P, which is the green one, that's going to line up over here with a measurement of angle T, which happens to be 73 degrees. And triangle H, P, S, so we're going to go peach, green, blue, oops, peach, <laughs> peach, green, blue is going to be the same as triangle J, T, M. So keeping my order there the same is how I would look at number 26. And finally number 27, find the value of X. We see that I have angles of the same here to here and that makes this value 65 degrees. Okay, a couple steps here. I have a 65 and 90, I don't know that one. So let me add that up. So far I've used up, 9 plus 6 is 15, 155 degrees. So what's left in a triangle? Well, I have 180 total, minus 155 is going to give me a 25 degrees is what's left. So x is going to equal 25 degrees for number 27. The same idea over here, just be careful as you do that here. Notice that with number 28, the 70 degrees lines up over here with the two little kind of rainbows there, and that makes you add up here. So let's look at 28 real quick. So I have a 70 and a 60, so 70 and 60 is gonna be 130. That's what I have so far. But here's what I know to be true. I know that 130 plus this value, 2x, is gonna all add up to be 180. So now I have an equation that I can work out. I'm going to leave it there for you to solve the rest of it, but that's the setup and what you look at. I transfer that information over there, I find the sum of that plus 2x to then take that away from 180 to solve for x. And that's your idea. Hope that helps. Good luck with the rest of them. And again, just check with your teacher on the front page for more clarification.